In 1986, Holocaust survivor Henry Landworth made a vow that no child in need will ever be turned away. With this faithful promise, he began to unite families and corporate sponsors from around the globe to embark on a magical journey that is Give Kids the World. Everybody, I'm Beth Troutman. On this episode of Live Life Forward, we'll learn about giving through the eyes of a nonprofit organization that has fulfilled wishes for more than 166,000 children who have been diagnosed with a critical illness. These wish children and their families have inspired communities and corporations to build a place where families can come together and enjoy a stress-free week filled with fun and laughter. A place where miracles are happening every day through the efforts of thousands of volunteers on a mission to make sure each family's experience at Give Kids the World Village is one they will never forget. Boston Market has been supporting Give Kids the World since 2008 by serving wholesome family-style meals to the village's special guests and their loved ones. As part of their contribution to the village, every year all 450 Boston Market locations across the country raise proceeds by offering coupon books with $32 in coupon value to their customers for a $1 contribution to Give Kids the World. The team leader of the location with the largest number of coupon books sold is given a trip to visit Give Kids the World Village, experiencing firsthand the true beauty of giving back. We're on our way to Boston Market in Fresh Meadows, New York, to meet with the Vice President of Operations, Joe Alvarez, who will be announcing the winner of the 2018 Coupon Book Fundraiser. Now, the manager and her team have no idea that we're coming, and they have no idea that they raised the most money last year, and will soon be flying to Central Florida to visit the Give Kids the World Village to meet a very special family. Now, this is gonna be an amazing surprise, and I cannot wait to see the team's reaction. Marcella's gonna be very excited. This is so exciting. Yeah. I'm gonna be the person who drops yes. the cake. Maricela. Hello. Oh, Hello. Hi. Congratulations. <laughs> I Hello. Because you know, I want to congratulate you and your team because you sold the most gift kids in world books. Oh. And you're going to Orlando. Oh. Coming up, we meet members of the Boston Market team and discover the passion they all share for Give Kids the World. Then we all head over to Central Florida to meet a very special Wish family and learn about the strength that this family has built over the years while caring for their son, Wyatt. Congratulations, your team did such an incredible job raising money for the Give Kids the World Village in Florida. What does it mean to you to work for Boston Market and to be able to support an organization like this? Boston Market is a great organization. I've been with the company for a very long time, very passionate about what I do. And I think the food is amazing. It's a home style meal. Yeah. And you know, it's what can be better than that? Well, that's what's so incredible is Boston Market provides food for the families at the village. How did you inspire your entire team to be so successful at raising funds? What did you do differently? Because you guys did an amazing job. I have an 11 year old girl, which I can say thanks to my God, you know, she's very healthy. And, you know, I think about their families. I think about themselves, the kids. I get my whole team involved from the server to the cashier all the way to the um, utility guy. He might not have any idea what a contribution, you know, for $1 that will do to a family. So I'm looking forward anytime, volunteer and go help the kids. And whatever I can do to help, I will always do it. 
Over the past decade, Boston Market has raised over five and a half million dollars in donations for the Give Kids the World Village. Joe Alvarez has had the opportunity to witness the evolution of this life-changing partnership. Maricela, again, hey. congratulations for what a great experience. And listen, we're very proud of you for all you do. Thank you very much. Thank right. you. Thank, Thank you. you, guys. I know Thank you're you. crazy busy, so we'll let you get back to work. Thank you so much, Thank you guys. so much. Congratulations to you. Thank you. And Joe, it must be awesome to have such an incredible team surrounding you to raise money for such a cool organization. Yeah, it's very heartwarming, Beth. I mean, really, uh, as I go across the country and I visit different restaurants, especially during the coupon book sales promo, uh, it's just great to see. It's great to see the passion. I'm humbled when I see our employees working so hard for us and then also taking the time out to take that mission of helping give kids the world through the coupon book sales. It's really, again, a really humbling experience for me. You've actually, you've been to the village. Talk I about have. your experience. So I was very fortunate 10 years ago when the partnership developed, I was able to be uh, the leader down in Florida. I was able to be there when we built Katie's Kitchen. It's a life mission for me now because I've gone back with my family several times. My family has, has volunteered the village with me. My daughters have volunteered the village. And, and quite frankly, we. Several years ago, we started doing the fun run with them and my wife participated in those fun runs. So yeah, it's it's become a, a personal thing for me as well as a, a corporate thing. So it's a corporate, it's a family affair for yeah, you. Yeah. And the relationship has evolved over the past decade as well. Tell me how that's changed. All right, so when we first met with Pam at the Village, we quickly knew that Boston Market was the perfect fit, right? Because we're all about getting people around the table for a great wholesome meal. We're about taking care of that with families. And so we saw the connection. So we wanted to have a more of an impact at the village. So we actually built the Boston Market at the village. We built one of our restaurants, suited and operated just like one of our restaurants we hear today. And uh, we actually feed the families after every night when they come back from the parks or for what they're doing after a busy day. We're there to make sure that we take that stress out of their life and we're able to have a wholesome meal at the table, which some families don't have that opportunity when they're back home. And there at the village, the families can just call and have their family meal delivered. They don't have to think about it. They don't have to think about nutrition. They don't have to, they, they get it all. That's gotta mean so much to you just personally. It is, it is. I mean, when you visit the village as many times as I have, and you have children like I have, and you see the experiences and you see the, the faces of, of those poor children, everyone around them is the same. So they're happy. It's a happy place for them. And uh, being able to, do our little part at Boston Market to kind of take care of those families. Again, it's heartwarming and, and humbling. I can see the emotion on your face. I'm gonna hug you. All right. Next on Live Life Forward, we arrive at the magical Storybook Village and take an emotional 84 acre tour. Then we meet the McGuire family and learn about a brave five-year-old boy whose greatest wish comes alive right before his eyes through countless acts of kindness. Hi. Hey, I'm Beth. It's so nice to meet it's you. It's great to meet you, too. I hear you're giving me a tour. I'd love to give you a I'm tour. I'm so excited. Let's go. Okay, let's go. So, Neil, tell me, how did you come to work here at the Village? Well, I had a whole career at Walt Disney World uh, doing a variety of things in the resort operations and had spent some time over the years volunteering at Give Kids the World as one of the Disney volunteers. And when I'd reached the point with Disney where I'd done just about everything I wanted to do, I started thinking, what was I gonna do with the rest of my life? Something that would be meaningful. And out of the blue, this village came to my mind and I realized that, oh my gosh, this is like a hotel, but it's very different with very different guests. And I made a cold call and that's been 13 years ago now. 
After spending so many years at the village, Neil had become very close to its founder, Henry Landworth, personally experiencing his passion and dedication to creating a place for wish children to leave their worries behind and escape within the magical moments. He was just amazing. He reached and touched people on behalf of the children. And it was never about him or never even about the village. It was about what can we do for the kids? And uh, I, I knew him for, for many, many years, very possibly one of the most influential men in the lives of children that I can even name. And as you have been here, I mean, 13 years, plus you volunteered before you came to work here full time. How have you seen things change? Here? Oh my gosh, we've grown exponentially. Uh, the village started with 32 villas, then 54, then 96, then 140, and now 168. I've been here through much of that expansion. Uh, we've added the Star Tower, we've expanded our pool, we've got new rides. We never were supposed to be a theme park, but Henry would say that we got to have things for these families to do if they're too tired or weak to go to theme parks. It's not just us that have thought of it. We've had some incredible support over the years. Uh, volunteers, other corporations, sponsors that are out here and they say, well, what about this? We'd love to help you with you know, a, a new ride, a new attraction. Uh, you don't have a playground. Why don't we help you build a playground? I can only imagine how wonderful it must feel to know that you're part of this organization and to see the smiles and know that you're having such a positive impact on people's families. I, it, it must be probably the best part of anyone's job or sponsorship or volunteer day. <laughs> there has not ever been a day yet that I've not looked forward to coming here every single day. And I drive over an hour oh, each wow. way to get here, but no two days are alike and to know that we're making a very significant difference in the lives of some very deserving children and families that otherwise would not have been able to participate in anything like this. It's, uh, I, I always say, I think we get back more than we give and we give a lot. Thank you so much, Neil. You're I get so to meet Wyatt and his family now. You are amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you soon, Great okay? Meeting you. Bye, bye bye. Up next, we meet the McGuire family and learn about the life of a very special wish child. Hi! Hi. How are Can you? I get a hug? You must be Brady. I'm <laughs> Beth. How Hi. are you? Wyatt and his entire family have traveled from Virginia to the Give Kids the World Village for a seven day family vacation. All of the accommodations, including meals, transportation, and tickets to theme parks, have been provided by the village and its long list of corporate community partners. Thank Great you. Great to have you here in this yes. beautiful villa. I know, right? right? It's amazing. It's amazing. It's it is. Gorgeous. Come on in, have a seat. Thank you. All right, come on. Thank you so much for sitting down to talk with me while you're in the middle of your vacation here. It m means so much to us. I'm gonna start with you, Tommy. Just tell me a little bit about this adorable family. I'm already in love with these guys over here. They're so amazing. Well, they're, they're an incredible group. They're triplets and they were born um, on June 22nd, 2013. We found out that she was pregnant around Thanksgiving and then um, we were keeping it a big secret for our whole family and it was the Christmas present and five days before Christmas we found out that with our first ultrasound that we we're having three children and we were shocked and we kept the, had to keep it in for five more days and then um, after that it was uh, we found out about Wyatt's heart condition first and we found out about it on Valentine's Day uh, ironically we actually uh, they, they were doing random ultrasounds they were checking body parts in each kid they said something looks wrong with baby B's heart so we went and met, met with our cardiologist, and um, he said that his heart was very unique, and um, basically uh, he was lacking a right ventricle. So he had significant blood flow to his to his body, but insignificant blood flow to his lungs. And these kids before 1980 would would die after about two weeks. So um, we knew all this ahead of time, and the big syndrome he has is called heterotaxia, and that just means organs in funny places. 
So what does that mean for your family, just your day-to-day -day lives? Um, um, we're very schedule-oriented people, we're routine. Um, so, um, you know, we sort of follow Wyatt's schedule. He has to have meds in the morning, he gets tube feeding, he has meds at night. So we're, we're somewhat structured at, in our house. You have built-in best friends. And there, I mean, something that was just overwhelming to us in the beginning has been the best blessing because there he has models for him constantly of what he, you know, thinks he could be doing, the constant entertainment for him. And he's teaching them compassion and patience. And so it's just what we couldn't imagine at first. Now we can't imagine it not being this way. And so these guys are great because they are they don't know any different, so, and, and we didn't have any other children, so we don't know any different. Yeah, I think the, the hardest days when he was in the hospital, he was in the hospital for the first nine months of his life, and it was really hard because we had that hospital life that we were living, and then we had to come home to the other two and we were, that were infants, so it was really hard bouncing between those two worlds. But it was nice when, when we got him home at 10 months of age and we had both worlds together, um, and they warmed up to him instantly. It took him a little bit longer, but now his brother and sister mean everything to him. He loves them to death. What's it like being a triplet, Sophia? Is it pretty cool? What do you think of your brothers? Oh, he's, <laughs> see, it's a big hug. It's just a hug fest. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Brady? What do you think? What do you feel hey, about being Brady. a triplet? It's pretty cool, it's huh? Yeah. <laughs> this must have been such a magical treat for your family to be here at the village and to get this family vacation. Talk to me about what this has meant to you. Oh, it's, I think it's meant everything. They, they, they you know, it was, it was from one of our doctors, our GI doctor was mentioning, you know, make a wish. And um, so we, we met with them in July and they, we found out in what, November? And um, then we, we found out all about this place. It, was already, it already kind of had a, had a um, it was kind of legendary anyway, so we'd heard about it from other families. We, we keep touch with a lot of families on Facebook and other places as well, but this, this place is incredible. We've watched the videos, we've done um, all the research, and nothing compares to being here, because it is just amazing. The people here are just so good to these kids. What has your experience been like so far this week? Oh my gosh, I wish we could capture it. We've taken a lot of pictures, lot but of pictures, like yeah. every every time we see like the Candyland Village or um, the ice cream or, I mean, everything, that like their eyes and their faces, I mean, it's just, that means the world to us. And, um, you know, just kind of breaking away from that schedule and the like the monotony and being able to come and sort of like let loose a little bit and really be able to let them dictate a little bit of, you wanna go get ice cream at four o'clock? Sure, we're at home it would never be, you know, at home it's like we need to do this, 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 and so, and, and it's been great for him because he, someone told me once you want your, you always wanna make your child's world bigger. And you know, he was in the hospital and then he's been home and now he's going to school and then getting to experience this and where they make life so, Easy. I mean, the, the house is beautiful. There's anything we could possibly need. Imagine they supplied oxygen for him. I mean, all you have to do is pick up the phone if you need anything, and it's just been, um, I mean, I keep saying amazing. That doesn't even seem to do it justice. <laughs> the food's incredible. I mean, absolutely love the food. Um, and then the people are there to, to wait on you hand and foot. I mean, they're so accommodating. It's just, it's just incredible. It really is. What has been the, your favorite your favorite part so far this week? Has it been a ride? Has it been the parks? Has it been just the Give Kids the World Village? I, I think I think all of it. You know, I mean, really, it's just you know, they always use the word magical down here, and you're like, uh, it really is. I mean, and you can see it in the kids' eyes. You know, from the from the amazing volunteers to all the rides to everybody caring so much. You know, to the woman that works the front gate that says, make sure and eat ice yes, cream. Yes, I love in. her. I mean, I she's know, amazing. She's so, there. I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just incredible. Like you're just always in in a magical environment when you come down here for this yeah. for this trip. It's incredible. High fives! <laughs> you guys were all amazing. Amazing. Can you high five. Do you want a high five? <gasps> Thank, Thank you. you. Join us next time on Live Life Forward as we continue our journey of the miracle that is Give Kids the World. 
During part two of this special episode, we will meet the inspiring women behind the life-changing partnership of Boston Market and the Give Kids the World Village. Then magic comes to life right before our eyes as the Wish children and their families join the village for a whimsical winter wonderland celebration. 